in today's session of Divorce Court. Latonya Williams says she didn't fall in love with Charles right away. It was for sex in the beginning. <laughs> you just wanted to get in the bed with this man, right? But when she did, she suspected him of cheating. Have you ever seen your husband with anyone else? Yes. He came to the door, his penis was hanging out of his underwear. He had lipstick on his face. He tried to play me like I am stupid. He okay. looked in the mirror and said, there's no lipstick on my face. So I took his underwear and pulled his penis back in his pants. And then he looked down and he goes, oh. No, let me tell you what happened. You catch him dead in the ass. Yes. You married him anyhow. Now LaTanya Williams wants justice as she squares off with Charles Williams in today's session of Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of LaTanya Williams versus Charles Williams. After two years of marriage and one child, you want to end the relationship. Yes. Ms. Williams, why? Because he, um, he cheated on me. No. I, I, yes. No. yes. He cheated on you. Yes, no, he did. He did. Not at all. I have not cheated on him. She has accused me of cheating. No, I have not cheated on him. She has no concrete evidence he... of me cheating. She oh, my God. Okay. He brings a girl to me to do her hair, to braid her hair, and he, he brought her. She works with him. He never tells me that he knows his girl or anything. He brings her to me to do her hair. I've told and you I was that. going to stop Mr. Williams. I, was, I called up to his job the day that I was going to do her hair to pick him up. He gets off at 430. I called right after 4. His supervisor said that he was gone. Him and the girl had left together. They didn't come walking through the door until... No. After five. After Half five. An hour that, later? A whole hour later. I called at four to come and go and pick him up. And he, um, he the, the, his supervisor said that he was already gone for the whole day. Him and the girl had already left. And so I'm thinking, okay, since I'm doing her hair, she's going to bring him to the house. Well, when I get, when he gets to the house, she's changed her clothes. So that let me know. How do you know she's changed her clothes? They're in the military. They're in the military. Oh, when they're okay. at work, they're in Thank uniform. Thank you. Is that concrete? They're, they're in a military all. uniform. Right, military uniform. And when they came to my house, she was in civilian clothing. He was still in his uniform. Okay. And they didn't come through my door until an hour later. We live on base. It takes, uh, takes about, at the most, 10 minutes to get from his job to the house. But how do you know how she do you, didn't go to work you, in civilian clothes that day? Exactly. You can't. How do you, how it's do you not allowed. It's not that? allowed. It's not allowed. It's not allowed because he already told me that you, that he, that you and him, you and her had left together. The supervisor said they left together. They left together. Yes. We did not leave. Well, that's not my problem. That's that's what he told me. That's not my problem. Well, it is your problem. But you're going to say that you're going to end a divorce, end a marriage based upon what someone else said. He cheated on me. He cheated on me. He gave me. Stop. I can only hear one of you at a time. He he cheated on me since day one. He lied to me since day one. He lied to his mother. He lied to me about how old well, he was. We don't need his mother in this. Thank yeah, well, it, it, it doesn't matter. He lied to you since day one. What yes, he lied about, about his age. And that's why I said no, about the, about I've what he mean he lied about his age. age. He told me he was I've 19 never, when I met him. Never, he told me how old was he? was 17. I didn't know how old he was until lied, I was invited to his graduation by his, by his brother. And how old were you? I was 25. 25? Yes, I was 25. And he, now, she was this, not 25 at the time. How about that, Mr. She was Mr. Williams? She was 22 years old at the time. No, she lied no. to me Oh, about my God. Her age. Oh, okay. my God. Stop. What am I going to lie to Mrs. Williams, I want to hear from Mr. Williams a minute. I told her I was 17. I've never lied about my age. He cheated on me when we were just dating. I, I he got that much. Okay, I heard he got, from you, Mrs. Williams. He gave me crabs. He, gave, he cheated on me. You just determined to keep talking. He cheated he, on you. He gave you right. crabs. Yeah, he he mistrust. You don't trust him. No. Nope. He lied to you about his age. Yep. Okay. Now let me hear something from him. Thanks. I got all that down for you. It's mm -hmm. all lies if he talk to you. Well, you won't let him say anything. So how do I know? I'm saving you. Saving me? Mm-hmm. From him lying to you. Thank you, but I don't need your help. 
how exactly can she just accuse me of cheating if she has not seen me cheating? She has not, well, she has not seen me with her own eyes. She has not caught me okay. red-handed cheating. I can so see. You, you can't be accused until you're caught? Can't when you're caught, that means you know for sure. That's why it's called <laughs> accusation. Have you ever seen your husband with anyone else? Yes. When? Uh, when I... Um, <laughs> When I went to the house one day, we were we were separated. I mean, not living in the same house, and I went to the house to go pick him up because I was letting him come to my house and were you know change his clothes. Were we married? He's asking me, "Have I ever seen you involved in another relationship?" He's. He, Did you tell me about it? He he came to the door. His penis was hanging out of his underwear. He had lipstick on his face, and I asked him. Now, usually he would let me in. That day, he would not let me in. I pushed the door, and he was like, no, you can't come in. Okay. And so I was like, okay, well, let me ask you this then. Now, I see the lipstick, and I see his pants hanging out of his pants. He's not even aware that that's happening. And so I asked him, I said, did you enjoy it? What? Enjoy it. I said, you got lipstick on him. You got lipstick on your face. He tries to play me like I am stupid. He okay. looks in the mirror and says, there's no lipstick on my face. So I took his underwear and pulled his penis back in his pants, and then he looks down and he goes, oh, no, let me tell you what happened. And he lies then. Oh, okay. why should so I believe? Lie. So why should I believe he's lying about all this stuff? Why should I believe that he didn't cheat on me with this girl now when he's all he's ever done is lie? Was this before or after marriage when you observed that? This is before, but that's what I'm saying. His, okay. This is what is lying. Before you married him? Right. Yes, you found out when you went to his house. Right. And he's dating you. Mm -hmm. That he's having sex with somebody else. Mm -hmm. And you catch him dead in the act. Yes. You married him anyhow. <laughs> yes, because he told Why? me. Uh -uh, he told me. This is just me as a boyfriend. I, I would not be that way as a husband. And I would be exactly, a good husband. So then you can't truth. blame him, that then can you? I can't that blame him truth. because Why? Because he truth. convinced me that he was going to be no, a better person. No, he convinced person. you. You just yes, accepted that you still no, wanted him. he convinced me because I was in a relationship with somebody else, and he came and was telling me that. But you saw that. You didn't have to wonder. You didn't have to suggest. You didn't have to think about it. You didn't have to accuse. These two eyes of yours observed it, and you still went for it. You didn't matter right. to you. Well, I, I can still be mad at him because he still did it. When and then you say he lied to you, right? Yeah, he lied to me. And he told you he was he, <laughs> 19? Yeah. And he was yeah, 17? He me, yeah. When you met him, did you know he was in high school? No. Did you meet him? Where did you meet him at? At Taco Bell. You met him at Taco mm -hmm. Bell. I he was going to a there. company party, right. And you okay. gave him your number. Right. And he called you. Right. What questions did you ask the man? A lot of questions, detailed questions. <laughs> like what? Like how old is he? And he um he told me what his name she asked was. Me what I went to school, ma'am. How did she? How did I ask him what you? She asked me what uh, She ain't talking to you. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up is reserved for me only. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. What questions did you ask a man that you gave your number to? To call you. I didn't care about if he had graduated or anything like that. You didn't that. care? He told me, no. He just told, he told me that he was, what did you care he was about? a nice guy and this and that. Actually, nothing. We were just, it was for sex in the beginning. Uh huh. <laughs> so was, all you cared about sex. was you were attracted to him sexually. Mm -hmm. yes, Is that right? That's it. And you just wanted to get in the bed with this man, right? That's it. That's all we wanted to. That's all you cared about. That's all we cared about. We, so you didn't ask him how old he was, did he? Was, did yes, he? I did. It, I did it, too it, ask that's him all how old he was. Why, why would, why would, so if that's all you wanted, did it really matter how old he was? Exactly. If he'd have told us he was 17, would it have made a difference? Yes, it would have made a difference. Why? Matter? Because, because, that's not, what? because that's not that's, that's not me. I wouldn't have. Anybody that's under the age of 18, I wouldn't have. When divorce court returns, Latanya tells the court why she married Charles. Why did you marry? Basically, to prove a point. To prove a point? Mm -hmm. To prove it to whom? To his mother, because they were giving me. You, Explain um, that. What do you get the star that has everything? Find out on the next Donnie and Marie as our Hollywood insiders fill celebrity shopping secrets. Plus, we can buy for a Taco Bell bucks. It's
daughter pays tribute to her courageous mother who's fighting for her life on Donnie and Marie. Today at 9 on Oregon's 12. They're not even grown. Why would you want to move out at such a young age? You won't let me have my privacy. It's not going to happen. But they think they can make it on their own. You think you're big enough that you don't need a mom? I think I can live on myself. How are you going to make it on a paper route with $300? How would you pay your bills? I'm a stripper, yeah. I sure am. Now, Ricky's giving them a reality check. There's no way this kid's going to be able to get this apart. Mom, get out of my face. I'm getting my own place. Over my dead body. Next, Ricky. Today at 10 on Oregon's 12. Here's the best looking sale you'll see all summer. America's best eyeglass clearance sale. Two pairs of designer or brand name eyeglasses with lenses and a doctor's eye exam for $69.99. Hundreds to choose from. Names like Diane von Furstenberg, Converse, and Lauren Hutton while they last. Two pairs of designer or brand name eyeglasses with lenses and a doctor's eye exam for $69.99. The best names at the lowest price in sight. America's best. Call 1-800-2-PAIR. Hurry, sail in soon. Growing up has never been more difficult. Many young people rely on shelter parents like Bob and Sandra and the Boys and Girls Aid Society of Oregon. Couldn't you shelter a child in need? Contact the Boys and Girls Aid Society of Oregon. 222-9661. On the next session of Divorce Court, his son needed a father. We have a chronically ill child. There's $9,000 in unpaid medical bills. What do you propose to do? I am not going to pay $9,000 worth of hospital bills. Oh, my God! On the next session of Divorce Court. Divorce Court is back in the case of Latanya Williams, who says her husband Charles isn't capable of telling the truth. You initially started this relationship not knowing very much about this man, but right. you knew one thing, and that is that he wasn't honest, because you already caught him, and right. you married him like that. So then why right. does this surprise no, we, you? We, no, we got, once we started, we stopped doing it just for the sex and started getting into a relationship or whatever. This, I didn't find out all this stuff at the very, very beginning, that he was lying and this and that. I didn't find out that he didn't she tell his mom about me. I didn't find out that, that he tell, he didn't like tell his mom months about months me right. or me having kids. No. He didn't tell his I, mother about you? That's what I was saying. He, he lied you to married? his mom. He, he, oh, no, before we married, no. I did tell yeah, my he mother. Had, he had no choice. His little niece told He didn't tell. He didn't tell her that I had kids. What was the secret? That I had kids. How many kids did you have? I had four. Four children? Yes, yes ma'am. Four. When you met him? Yes. Did you tell him that you had four children? Yes, he I knew. I asked the question. I that was questions everything. that I asked over the phone. No. So he didn't believe that you were your age either, I'm sure. I, I did believe that she was 25. I did believe that she you said she had a job. You just like to have an older woman. I, I know, I really it did. Met, yeah, like, it I made him like look good in front of his friends, woman. yeah. Why did you marry him? Basically to prove a point. To prove a point? Mm-hmm. To prove it to whom? To his mother. Because they were giving me... You, Explain um, that. They were giving me a hard time. He didn't marry me because of that reason. He married me because he didn't want me to marry this other guy that I was dating when he was in tech school. Oh, okay, man. so, but you married you, okay, him to prove a point oh, to his right, mother. Man. Right, his whole family, because they were giving me a hard time about my daughter. And all of them were telling him, don't own up to her, don't claim her, don't this, don't that. You mean you know, the child you, th that we have you and together, uh -huh. right? And and he was telling them, you know, no, I believe that it's my daughter, that I believe that with all my heart, I don't want to take a blood test, I don't want to do this. And I gave him every opportunity to do that. You know, and his family, they just like, I mean, it's like they pissed me off so bad. I mean, I know that was a stupid reason, but 
I did it. Just to prove a point. To prove to, to them to prove that you could point. marry their son. Whatever I want, I'll get it. Whatever you want, you can yep. get. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep, that sure is it. Whatever you want, you get. That's yep. what she believes. Whatever I set my heart. Yeah, that's, that's what I, she believes. Whatever you set your heart after, you get. And yep. She can manipulate you. Why don't you, you try you setting get. your heart after something that's good for you? Trust me, I am now. <laughs> this is divorce. What else have you set your heart I, after? I would have made get. this relationship work with him. Had he been honest, had he not cheated had he been on me? honest about what? About everything. He's always lying. Can you stand up here and tell me that you tell the whole truth all the time? Ask him. Ask, I, I, I just answer my question. Yes, I sure can. I you have no tell reason me that to lie you tell the truth all the time. Yes, I have no reason to lie to him. That's that's lie. I didn't say that's to him. Right there. That's oh, you right talking about to anybody? I right said there. truth all the time. I tell the truth all the time, but I tell the truth to him. So you really convinced yourself that you're the miss honest person and no, this is I Mr. Didn't. Dishonest. And no, I didn't. I'm I am honest to him. I to am him. To him. Now you want something? What What's you that? want? What the chair? Yes. It's not his. I it bought that chair. No, it's not. I bought that chair with my daughter's money and I went and bought all brand new furniture. Bedroom set for her and my boys and a living room set for myself, dining room. And I asked him Were you married or unmarried? Unmarried. We were living in the same household. We're not. Oh my God, we're not. When did you buy the chair? Excuse me? When did you buy the chair? I can't remember how long ago it was that I bought the chair. Okay. But, but we weren't married. We weren't we weren't living together in the same house. He was in my house off and on. And you can basically say he was spending the night because he was not actually living there. Whenever something didn't go right, didn't go his way, he'd go back home to his mother. The chair was a present. It was not yeah. a present. It wasn't a gift to him? You know it what? Was. If, if I was going to give him a gift, I'd have done the same thing that I've made my hu my husband and boyfriends before do for me when they bought me something. What's when that? When they signed their name on the line, I made them put for Latanya Webb. That's the gift. I didn't do that with that chair. That chair was put on the same ticket with all the bedroom furniture, all the kitchen furniture, all the living room you furniture. You brought it all at the same time? All at the same time on the same ticket. So why make you, what makes you think 